वेलकम टू एजुकेशनल चैनल ऑफ सूरज भट्ट क्लासेस क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड वीडियो ऑन एलिगेशन एंड मिक्सचर आई एम गोइंग टू कवर कंप्लीट टॉपिक सॉल्विंग ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आज इन वेरियस कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड प्लेसमेंट इंटरव्यूज वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द टॉपिक रिमूव्ड एंड रिप्लेस्ड एंड दिस टॉपिक विल बी कवर्ड इन थ्री वीडियोज दैट इज इन पार्ट थ्री पार्ट फोर एंड पार्ट फाइव ऑफ एलिगेशन एंड मिक्सचर please watch all the three parts to understand this topic here we start the topic allegation and mixture removed and replaced if a container has initially i liters of milk in total t liters of mixture and r liters of milk is removed and replaced by water and again r liter of mixture is removed and replaced by water and this operation is repeated for n times then final quantity f of milk remained in mixture is given by final quantity equal to initial quantity into within bracket 1 minus rate of withdrawal upon total quantity bracket close to the power n and in formula we can write f equal to i within bracket 1 minus r upon t whole to the power n we can use this formula only if quantity of mixture removed is same as it is replaced by water in the mixture if these two quantities are different then we can solve the question by conventional method and not by the formula method let us solve few questions to understand this formula we'll solve the questions by conventional method as well as by formula method and few questions where the formula we cannot use we go to the questions and our question is a container has 225 liters of milk 15 liters of milk is taken out and same quantity of water is added into it again 15 liters of mixture is taken out and same quantity of water is added into it find the quantity of milk in the mixture first we will solve this question by conventional method and then we will solve it by formula method so we make few columns this is milk then water then milk ratio water we will have to take milk and water ratio for every time we are withdrawing the mixture or milk from the container and replacing it by water then we have to find the milk and water ratio at every stage initially we had 225 liter of milk and 15 liter was withdrawn and it was replaced by water so we write 15 225 minus 15 is 210 so after first withdrawal of milk and adding water we have 210 liter of milk and 15 liter of water so this is the ratio is 210 ratio 15 this comes out to be 14 ratio 1 15 divides 210 for 14 times so the milk and water ratio is 14 ratio 1 now again 15 liter of mixture is withdrawn as now after adding water this is not pure milk it is a mixture of milk and water in which milk is 210 liters and water is 15 liters now if we withdraw 15 liter of mixture from it then the withdrawn quantity is in the ratio 14 ratio 1 and 14 plus 1 is 15 and we have withdrawn 15 liter of mixture so we have withdrawn basically 14 liter of milk and 1 liter of water so we subtract 14 from 210 this comes out to be 196 and we have withdrawn 1 liter of water from it in 15 liter so this becomes 14 liter now we have 196 liter of milk and 14 liter of water in the mixture and now we added 
15 liter of water into it. So this becomes 14 plus 15 equal to 29 liters of water. After adding second time, the final ratio is 196 ratio 29. Now we have reached to our answer. It has been asked that the find the quantity of milk in the mixture. So in the mixture, the quantity of milk is 196 liters. This is our answer. If it had been asked in this question, what is the final quantity of water? Then our answer will be 29 liter of water in the final mixture. And if the ratio is asked, then we can say it is 196 ratio 29. Now we solve this question by formula method. Our formula is final quantity F, this final quantity of milk equal to initial quantity of milk into 1 minus rate of withdrawal upon total quantity to the power n, where n is how many times we have withdrawn the quantity from the original mixture. Now we put the values in it. So our values are 225 liter of milk we had initially, 1 minus rate of withdrawal is 15 liter every time and total quantity or initial quantity in this case is same. So we write 225 to the power n. We did this operation for two times. So we write 2 in the power. This gives us final quantity of milk equal to initial quantity is 225 into we cancel 225 by 15 and it is cancelling 225 15 times. So 1 minus 1 upon 15 is 14 upon 15 and the power is 2 so we write it for 2 times. Now this 15 and this 15 is 225. This, can this cancels this 225. Now final quantity equal to 14 multiplied by 14 is 196. So finally we have got 196 liters of milk. Now if we subtract this from the total quantity 225 then water will be how much water will be 225 minus 196 will be 29 liters of water. This way we can solve it either by conventional method or by formula method. We go to the next question. Our question is a drum contains 300 liters of ethanol. 30 liters of ethanol is removed and replaced by water. This process was repeated for one more time. Find the ratio of ethanol and water in the final mixture. Again we are going to solve it by conventional method and then by shortcut method or formula method. So we write ethanol quantity of ethanol then we write water and then we write ratio of ethanol to water. Originally we had 300 liters of ethanol and we, we had withdrawn 30 liters of ethanol and this quantity 30 liter was added or replaced by water. So this comes out to be 270 liters after taking out 30 liters of ethanol from it. So the ratio of ethanol and water now becomes 270 ratio 30. This is 9 ratio 1 as 270 when divided by 30 gives us 9 and 30 divided by 30 gives us 1. So this is 9 ratio 1. Now again 30 liters of mixture is withdrawn and replaced by water. So if we withdraw 30 liters of it then it is a mixture of ethanol and water. So we are withdrawing some quantity of ethanol and some quantity of water as per the ratio we have calculated which is 9 ratio 1. So in the mixture of 30 liters, if we split that 30 liters in the 9 ratio 1, then what we get quantity of ethanol is 30 multiplied by 9 upon total quantity 9 plus 1 is 10. So this is 27 liters. And if we withdraw 27 liters 
from 270 liters then we get 243 liters 270 minus 27 is 243 and after withdrawing 27 liters in 30 liters 3 liter is water so we have removed 3 liters of water so we subtract 3 from 30 and we have got 27 liters of water after withdrawing this we added again 30 liters of water so we add 30 liters this comes out to be 27 plus 30 is 57 liters of water so in the final quantity we have got the ethanol 243 liters and 57 liters of water the ratio of ethanol and water in the final mixture is 243 ratio 57 this both numbers are divisible by 3 so we divide it by 3 and this comes out to be 81 ratio 19 3 divides 243 for 81 times and 3 divides 57 for 19 times so our final ratio comes out to be ethanol ratio water equal to 81 ratio 19 we can solve this by shortcut method or formula method so final quantity of ethanol divided by initial quantity of ethanol equal to 1 minus rate of withdrawal upon total quantity to the power n which is number of times we have withdrawn the ethanol or mixture and replaced it by water so this gives us final quantity of ethanol divided by initial quantity of ethanol equal to 1 minus 30 upon total quantity is 300 to the power 2 30 divides 300 for 10 times so this comes out to be 1 minus 1 upon 10 is 9 upon 10 this is equal to 9 upon 10 to the power 2 this is equal to 81 upon 100 it has been asked that we have to find the final quantity of ethanol to the water or ratio of ethanol to the water now in place of final divided by initial we write ethanol upon total quantity equal to 81 divided by 100 this gives us now if you have to find the ratio of ethanol to water so we have to have 81 divided by 100 minus 81 because 100 is the total quantity out of which we have to find the water so we subtract 81 from 100 and we get 81 upon 19 this way we can get the ratio of ethanol to water I explain it again final quantity upon initial quantity equal to 1 minus rate of withdrawal upon total quantity to the power n where n represents the number of times we have withdrawn and replaced it by water so final quantity upon initial quantity equal to 1 minus 30 upon 300 and in place of n we are writing 2 because this operation was repeated for 2 times 30 divides 300 for 10 times so this gives us 1 minus 1 upon 10 which is 9 upon 10 to the power 2 square of 9 is 81 and square of 10 is 100 now this is ethanol upon the total mixture which is 81 upon 100 but this total mixture contains water as well as ethanol and if we have to find the ratio of ethanol to water then we will have to subtract the quantity of ethanol in the ratio to get the quantity of water in this ratio so what we do ethanol upon water equal to 81 upon 100 minus 81 because 100 is the total quantity and 81 is the content of ethanol in the ratio so on subtracting 81 from 100 we get 19 so this gives the ethanol ratio water equal to 81 upon 19 or 81 ratio 19 this way we can solve it by formula method if it had been asked in this question what is the ratio of ethanol in the final mixture 
to the initial quantity of ethanol, then our answer would have been 81 ratio 100. We go to the next question. Question is, a vessel contains 150 liters of acid. X liters of acid is removed and replaced by water. This process was repeated for two more times. The ratio of acid and water becomes 125 ratio 91 in the resultant mixture. Find the value of X. Now we solve this question by formula method. First we have to find the ratio of acid to the total mixture. Here it is given the ratio of acid to water. Acid to water equal to 125 upon 91 or ratio of acid to water is 125 ratio 91. So we have to first find the ratio of acid to the total quantity of mixture. So I write acid upon total. This comes out to be 125 upon 91 plus 125. If we add acid to the water, then we get the total quantity of mixture in ratio form. So this comes out to be 125 upon 91 plus 125. That is 125 upon 216. 91 plus 125 is 216. Now we put this ratio into the formula. Acid upon total equal to, here total means total quantity of mixture. 1 minus R upon total quantity to the power N. This is equal to 125 upon 216. 1 minus x upon 150 as the initial quantity of acid is 150 liters and the power is 3 because this process was done for 3 times. Initially 1 time and 2 more times that comes out to be 3 times. Now we can solve this. This gives 125 upon 216 can be written as 5 upon 6 to the power 3 equal to 1 minus x upon 150 to the power 3 as the power is same so we can equate the basis. This gives us 5 upon 6 equal to 1 minus x upon 150. This gives x upon 150 equal to 1 minus 5 upon 6. This is 1 upon 6. Here we can find the value of x. This gives us x equal to 150 upon 6. This is 25 liters. The value of x we have found is 25 liters. This is our answer. Here it completes the part 3 of the video. Please also watch part number 4 and 5 to completely understand the topic removed and replaced in allegation and mixture. Please like this video. Share it among your friends who are preparing for the competitive exams. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Also press bell icon to get the latest notification. And always respect your parents.